rule is the same. You ask one candidate one question, then you move on. And if I feel there's need for a response from the other candidate, I will handle that. Jeremy Pierce is here. Uh, he's an entertainer. <laughs> and Dr. Gary Bredefeld, psychologist, uh, veteran, and former Fresno City Councilman, he's also here. Hi, Gary. Hi, Ray. Go home. You've already done it. Let somebody else do it. Why do you want to do it again? Well, because I love Fresno. I've been here uh, most of my adult life. Jeremy alluded to some of the problems we're all facing with crime and Prop 47 and prison realignment, uh, with homelessness, with vagrancy, a lot of problems. And I live here. I'm not going anywhere. And I just felt it is time to get back uh, and do some good things in the city again. And that's exactly why I ran. Jeremy's plan. He talks about a thousand officers. Uh, he's misleading the public as though he's going to hire a uh, thousand officers. It's not two hundred like more, not a thousand more. I know, 200 more. It's not going to happen immediately. Then he says it'll happen uh, within eight years. The fact is we can hire 100 cops quickly, which is what we need to do. And selling unused vacant land mm -hmm. is a good way to do that. Now, you do have to have an ongoing revenue stream, and that's why I talked about ongoing naming rights. But he sought the same support everywhere throughout the entire community, whether it was police officers or, or the, uh, the Fresno Bee or wherever it was. He lost all of the support. We have all the support, <laughs> and I'm proud to have all the support, and I'm proud to have the police officers and Jerry Dyer and Mar Sheriff Margaret Mins and the deputy sheriffs, and they support me for a reason, Jeremy. They support me because they know my history okay, of making the okay. city safe, We'll and we're going to continue to do it. Everybody knows Gary Bredefeld is an independent person. As they said, a lobbyist said, Gary, we know you have friends, we know you got enemies, but we know you got no owners. And Jeremy, to, to criticize me for receiving support, for the very same support he was always trying to get. But I never spoke out against it. I never spoke out against that I spoke that support. out against corruption. I never and we're talking about, and this came from you people in the email, uh, it was kind of like the number two thing after hiring more cops, and I was a little surprised, but I get it about why don't we have more parks, more green belts in the city of Fresno. And Gary, I'll let you have a piece of that one. I, you know, the question I would have is, you know, can we afford them now? Probably not, but go ahead. Yeah, we, we absolutely need parks, of course. Uh, we've always uh, nationally uh, rated low compared to other cities. When I was on the council, we got Selma Lane Park, which is there, a beautiful park uh, by Shepherd and Maple. We had another park along Alluvial and Maple. We built an inline skating park right next to Kaiser Hospital. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yep, yeah. I was there when we got that built. And so we have built parks, and we need to continue to build parks. And when I get back on the council, we're going to continue to build parks in Northeast Fresno as well through, as well as throughout the entire city. This is a number one business in the state, voted one of the top 10 Elvis businesses in the country. Jeremy, and get, a, I don't dispute, you're an Elvis impersonator. You do a good job at it, people like it. I don't have any problem with that. I said that's what you are. Is that are. a lesser business, Gary, no, to you? No, no, yeah. not at all. Okay. I've never said it is. Let, 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 you let, are an Elvis impersonator, let, let I'm let a political psychologist. That's, the, that's what we do. Me How does this have anything to do with the real issues facing the city? It doesn't at it the moment, does, that's why I want to But that's exactly on. Jeremy's campaign. I mean, I agree, character has a lot to do with this. You bet it, you bet it does. And it's a seven member council and a mayor and you have to work with all those people and if you're screaming at them and belittling them, Nobody you're, you're going to be an island, Gary, Ray, an island. Nobody there. screams. And you can say this break. all day long, Jeremy. It's not true. Guys, when we all come back, guys. all right, your question. Who do you support for mayor? You know, Jeremy has tried to get me involved in this mayor's race, and I've said all along, I'm not getting involved in a mayor's race. I'm running to win my city council race, and whoever comes in through that door, and both men are fine people, both men are qualified, highly qualified, and whoever walks in that door in January, that's the man I'm going to work with. And, you know, attacking one or the other, which you've done, and I have not done, uh, I'm going to be working with whoever's there. I respect Lee Brand, I respect Henry Perret, and they both have accomplishments, and they're both things that I agree with, and they're both things I disagree with, but I'm not getting into that race. I'm running my race. The city does have total exposure because they gave some people bottled water, and they ignored other people, and then they gave other people uh, confusing messages about what was happening. We should not be giving people loans. The city is exposed. Uh, some of these people can't afford loans. If it's not their fault, why should we be giving them loans? Uh, in some cases, the city is going to have to just uh, uh, accept the responsibility and fix the pipes. And we'll determine who and where and when. But the fact is, giving people loans is, is an absurd idea. What do we do now, Gary, for people who are drinking lead right now as we wait for litigation to play out? Who's drinking it, lead? The, over 100 uh, uh, homes in, in our district have high exposures of lead. They could be 
uh, ingesting lead. That's been proven. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. No, there's been some people who have there, had exposure. There are over 100. There yeah, are. What I mean, they're drinking the lead, though, Jeremy. I mean, it could be or, in the or bathing in lead. Whether it's drinking le lead yeah. in the water, well, bathing. Well, you say drinking lead. That's serious. drinking water with lead in it or bathing water with lead in it what do you say now is the litigation plays out and these people are bathing in lead right now what is your plan to help well, them right now if you don't want to well, give them what, loans what they sh no I'm not, I'm not the city shouldn't have they shouldn't have to take out a loan if the but city what do has they exposure. do gary the faucets shouldn't look at to, to be replaced because as the expert said some of those faucets are outdated uh, I'm a person who has been uh, serving people throughout my entire life, whether it was serving this nation as a naval officer uh, in 1985 or it's serving veterans who served in Iraq and Afghanistan for years. I've been doing that for 24 years, and I intend to do the same thing. We talked about my passion. I'm a passionate person for the city, and I want to turn the city around again. Sheriff Mims, Police Chief Jerry Dyer, the police officers, the firefighters, Mayor Ashley Swearingen. I have the support of these people because they know my history of doing things with honesty, with integrity, and always being a strong advocate for the people that elected me. I will never forget and never did forget who I was serving, the people in District 6. Paid for by Bredefeld for Fresno City Council.